kids need to understand that everybody makes mistakes and nobody's perfect, particularly not parents. So not only is it okay if you do make a mistake, but it's actually an opportunity to be able to show them how you can apologize and how you can um, still show your love to them. Um, there's definitely been times with my kids where I have uh, lost my temper and yelled and one of the ways that I might handle that afterwards is I'll, I'll come up to them and I'll say, Autumn, I'm sorry that I, I got, was yelling at you. I was just, I was kind of in a hurry and I was trying to get some things done and I didn't mean to hurt your feelings when I yelled. You know I love you. Okay, I'm sorry. So again, by doing that, you're role modeling to your children that it's okay to make mistakes, but it is important to be able to make things right and to apologize. Uh, you also want to make sure that you don't force children to apologize because basically then you're teaching them uh, to not be honest about their, about their feelings and to kind of do it in a superficial manner. Sometimes if kids have gotten into some sort of conflict, they might need, like adults, a cooling down period before they might get to the point of where they're ready to talk about things and, and to maybe make an apology. But again, we're looking at role modeling, healthy behavior for children, letting them know it's okay to have disagreements, it's okay to be human, but that you do make sure that you, you know, apologize afterwards and talk to them about it, about how they felt, and make sure that you are able to repair any kind of a rift that has happened.